This morning, people living in one Santee neighborhood are trying to rebuild after a plane crashed into their community, killing two people. Part of the neighborhood looks like a war zone. Yesterday, the UPS truck was finally cleared from the scene there. News 8's Chris Crow joining us live now with the latest on the investigation. And we're learning more about these victims here, Chris. Yeah, we are. We're actually learning a, a little bit more about the victims as well as what's going to happen moving forward. And if you look, you mentioned what the neighborhood looks like now. You can see it has cleaned up just a little bit. That UPS truck is gone, but the damage still very much there to the homes in this neighborhood. And a lot of the emotional damage is obviously still going to be very raw right now. But a lot of people also still have a lot of questions and they're waiting on answers about how something like this could happen. When you're overloaded, we call it task saturated, meaning you got so many things to do. You can imagine, you know, when a, when somebody's telling you, "Hey, do this, do that, do that," and you're trying to, like, and you get discombobulated. And so what, what you just heard from there is somebody, uh, an expert there in the flight uh, area, try, trying to comment there on what exactly the pilot may have been going through on that day. Of course, the National Transportation Safety Board will be the ones doing this investigation, trying to figure out the cause of this crash and any factors that went into it. A preliminary report could be released in about 15 days, but according to the NTSB, they said, quote, part of this investigation will be able to, will be to re request radar data, weather information, air traffic control communication, and airplane maintenance records, as well as the pilot's medical records. Now, the pilot was Dr. Sugata Das, who was also killed in this crash, but also sadly killed in this crash was a very key part of this fam of the, excuse me, of this neighborhood. UPS veteran Steve Kruger, he was 30 years on the job. Neighbors here say he was about to retire, and they really did feel like he was part of this family, part of this community, and those who knew him most know he will be missed. Thanks for always being such great customers for my brother. You guys really made his job enjoyable and he really enjoyed all of you. I woke up this morning and I was just hoping it was a dream, but it's not. And yesterday, UPS released a statement on Kruger's death, which read, quote, we are heartbroken by the loss of our driver, Steve Kruger, and extend our deepest condolences to his family and friends. Those who knew Steve and said he took pride in his work and his positive attitude and joyful laugh made the hardest days a little lighter. Steve was held in high regard and will be greatly missed. Now back out here live again. As for those questions, we are waiting on answers, but the NTSB again does take quite some time before a final report could be ready. Again, we're all waiting for that preliminary report. We've heard some of those air traffic control conversations, but at the same time, a lot is still unknown. Eric and Stella.